ok so that's just the style of generalizing about the terrified feeling but i want you to be more specific so when you remember how old were you i was about thirteen and were you there with friends yes so how many friends were they oh probably about four or five and had they gone up on the high diving yes first and were you did you feel like under pressure that you had to do it as well yes yes and so when you were going up were they were they daring you or were they egging you on or was it just expected that you know it like everyone else no it was just expected to do it like everyone else okay and as soon as you started going up yes you had that terrified feeling in your body absolutely so where was it in your body specifically started from the knees the legs so the trembling the trembling yes okay and what about so the knees were trembling yes what about stomach or chest and very yeah like i felt like my stomach was coming up yeah through my mouth the stomach was coming up through the mouth yes what about your breathing could you breathe easily yeah probably back then yeah i was okay but i still it was very fast yeah my heart was going yes pumping you felt like your stomach was coming up yes yes wobbling wobbling yeah okay and what was this feeling the thoughts going through your head like i've got to do this oh well i can't go back down there i can't go back i have to go to the edge and jump okay took me a while people climbing up behind you there were okay so you couldn't turn around no you couldn't turn around so this is it i have to do it that's right okay so follow me even though i still have this memory even though i still have this memory how old were you 13 this 13 year old memory 13 year old memory when i was under pressure when i was under pressure i had to go through with it i had to go through with it there was no turning back there wasn't no turning back there were people behind me there were people behind me no wonder my knees were trembling no wonder my knees were trembling and my stomach was coming out through my mouth and my stomach was coming out from my mouth i was terrified terrified absolutely and i couldn't turn back and i couldn't turn back this terrified feeling that my body still has this terrified feeling that my body still has i didn't know i was still carrying my 13 year old terrified feeling in my body i still didn't know that i was carrying this 13 year old fear in my body and i love and accept myself and, and my body i love and accept myself and my body and let it know that it, i'm safe now and let it know that i am safe and i can process this now and i can process this now this fear in my whole body this fear in my whole body i couldn't turn back i couldn't turn back this terrified feeling in my knees this terrified feeling in my knees my knees were wobbling my knees were wobbling as i took each step up and that ladder as i took each step up that ladder there were people behind me there were people behind me i was only 13 i was only 13 i had to go through with it i had to do it i had to go through with it people were behind me people were behind me there was no turning back no turning back i was terrified i was terrified i had this feeling in my stomach i had this feeling in my stomach like it was going to come up through my mouth that it was going to come up through my mouth this terrified feeling in my stomach this terrified feeling in my tummy my knees wobbling my knees were wobbling my terrified stomach my terrified stomach there was no turning back there was no turning back i had to go through with it i had to go through with it this remaining fear in my whole body this remaining fear in my whole body so take a deep breath so when you tune into that 13 year old taking those first steps mm -hmm. and there's people behind her and she can't she has to go through with it and she's terrified she's got that wobbly feeling in her knees and that stomach feeling that's going to come up mm -hmm. through her mouth yes that terrified feeling it's gone down a bit now hasn't it mm, i feel a bit more relaxed okay and when you're tuning into your stomach and your knees and that terrified feeling now what would you give it out of 10 if 10 was the most terrified you could be probably about a seven okay so how do you know you've still got that seven in, in your body i is still it... have a, a little bit of a tremble so a tremble yeah and, and where is it in your whole body like you just mainly my, my, my legs my legs so the yeah. tremble in your legs in my legs what about your stomach it's a bit churned okay so even though I still have this remaining churning and trembling, even though I still have this remaining churning and trembling, this churning in my stomach, this churning in my stomach, this trembling in my knees, this trembling in my knees, this remaining 13-year-old terrified feeling, this 13-year-old terrified feeling, still trapped in my body, still trapped in my body, 
and i'm not sure if i'll be able to get rid of it all i'm not sure if i'm going to be able to get rid of it all it might be safe it might be safe but i'm open to the possibility i'm open to the possibility that i am safe with heights now that i am safe with heights now and i'm able to let that thirteen year old have peace that i'm able to let that thirteen year old have peace and let go of that thirteen year old terrified feeling in my body and let go of that thirteen year old terrified feeling in that in my body this remaining terrified trembling in my legs this remaining terrified trembling in my legs this remaining terrified feeling in my stomach this remaining terrified feeling in my stomach this remaining churning terror in my stomach this remaining churning terror in my stomach this remaining trembling in my legs this remaining trembling in my legs i didn't know i still had this 13 year old terror in my body i didn't realize that i had this 13 year old terror in my body my body was protecting me at the time this body was protecting me at this time to give me this memory to give me this memory to not get into a similar situation to not get into a similar situation where i couldn't turn back where i couldn't turn back no wonder i had this trembling in my knees no wonder i had this trembling in my knees and this churning in my stomach and this churning in my stomach i wonder if it's possible to let it go now i wonder if it's possible to let it go now i am safe now i am safe now i can choose when i go up heights now I can choose when I go up heights now. I'm not under pressure. I'm not under pressure. I have been safe with heights. I have been safe with heights. Wonder what it would be like to let go of that terror in my body. I wonder what it would be like to let go of that terror in my body. To have peace in my stomach. To have peace in my stomach. And peace in my knees. And peace in my knees. Even when I think of that 13 year old. Even when I think of that 13 year old. Climbing up. Climbing up. This remaining terror. This remaining terror. In my knees and my stomach. In my knees and my stomach. It's safe to let it go now. It's safe to let it go now. It's safe for my body to process it now. It's safe for my body to process it now. I am safe now. I am safe now. I do have peace in my stomach. I do have peace in my stomach. I do have peace in my knees. I do have peace in my knees. My knees are strong. My knees are strong. This remaining fear. This remaining fear that used to protect me. That used to protect me. It's safe to let it go now. It's safe to let it go now. I am safe with heights. I am safe with heights. So take a deep breath and just tune in again to that 13-year-old climbing up. Mm -hmm. So she was safe when she dove off the high diving board. She yeah. landed okay. She lived through it. I did. <laughs> and when you think about now tuning into that, that 13 year old fear, mm. is it still present in your body now, that in your knees or your stomach? My knees are stopped shaking. Mm -hmm. And what about your stomach? My stomach feels better. Yeah. Okay. Not so churning. If you picture that 13 year old climbing up now. Yeah, I can picture it clearly. Mm -hmm. And how is she? Doing it quite easily. Mm -hmm. Step so, by step. so now if you picture um, something else in your past where you've had a fear of heights, like you told me about um, the revolving restaurant yeah, in Sydney. Yes. And what did you have there when you were in the revolving restaurant? What? How did the fear of heights represent itself in your body then? Same, same effect. Mm -hmm. Same stomach churning, trembling of the the knees, the legs. Okay. The so same pitch, effect. Pitch yourself now though, there. Mm, I can. And has it still got that effect in your body? No. So My how, legs aren't trembling. Yeah. So see how that's generalised out mm. from the original cause of that fear of heights. Mm. It's we've What we've done is um, repatterned that in your mind so that mm. memory doesn't have that same reaction anymore. And so the similar um, memories yeah. that were to do with heights doesn't have that reaction anymore mm. and you'll find that in the future whenever there's a height issue you won't have that original reaction anymore because we've changed that reaction in your body yeah. pretty cool it is cool <laughs> and it's as simple as that yeah. so eventually i'll test it out and i'll let you know <laughs> <laughs> great thanks thank you G.